All right, so first of all, um, how is the experience in Monaco so far? Have you had a chance to meet anybody, talk to anybody? Uh, you it's, know, Monaco, it's just like so gorgeous and everyone is so friendly. Um, it's amazing. This yeah. is like heaven on earth. I don't want to leave. I'm like, I don't want to leave. I know, this is the this is amazing. best work vacation I've ever had. Absolutely. Been on. <laughs> That's exactly what it is a work vacation. Yeah. We're working, but we're in heaven. It's yeah. great. Do you think there's a need and importance for a television festival? I think it's I think it's great. I don't I don't know if there's um I don't know if we need the term need, but I like that we do it. I think it's I think it's awesome. I think it's great. It's a way to celebrate things and and you know, TV is becoming so much like film these days. It's it's a very um it's a very thin line that separates it. So I think it's great that we do this. I think um, I think it is it is necessary now because well, Stella said it. I mean, like we're TV is as they say is sort of in a golden age at the moment where we're getting some of the best uh, writers and therefore the best directors and therefore the best actors um, and uh, a platform to celebrate that and and that work and the art being created. Uh, I think is important. Yeah, and to share that and get to like see how other people react. It's great. It's cool. Yeah. All right, tell us a bit now about the series Magicians in a few words and explain your characters. Yeah. Uh, so the Magicians is a um, explores what it would be like to have magic in the real world and what would the the real life consequences of that be. Um, and it follows um, a bunch of people, two of which are here. Yeah. Um, I play Quentin Coldwater, and he is um, sort of existentially depressed and perpetually disappointed and not your typical leading man or hero. Uh, and that's what makes him so fascinating to play. Um, I think the journey of him is of like learning how to um, deal with his inner demons and uh, and therefore like up, uh, be the man that I guess we all kind of like hope that he will be one day. And right now he's in sort of like a band-aiding uh, place where he's like trying to hide and the series thus far is just people ripping <laughs> band-aids off of him and him having to deal with open wounds. Yeah, and uh yeah, I, I play Julia Wicker, and um, you know she's she's passionate and and driven, and you know she's super complex. Um, I think that's what's so great about these characters is it's not your like quintessential hero and heroine. These are these are flawed human beings, and it, it kind of shows their struggles within and externally, and and how to navigate um, real life. But now knowing that magic is real, so we get to kind of see like like the ups and downs of this and it's not always great it's it's hard to be human you know <laughs> it's hard it's yeah good. what was it precisely that made you want to take the part in this show i mean uh, yeah. it's that reality that i talked about from the beginning that it that this felt unlike anything else that i'd read or seen before in that um if magic were to really exist, I feel like this is what it would look like. Yeah. And then um, had the opportunity, kind of through the audition process, to, to start reading the books. And like very quickly fell in love and became a very rabid fan. And, and then felt it necessary to be involved because I needed to protect it. Um, I loved this thing and I couldn't bear anyone ruining it. Uh, <laughs> you know? Um, and. And so, in this way, I think it's a show for fans, by fans, um, and I think that shows. I think that love is there, and the energy kind of comes across. Yeah. yeah. It's just so honest. I think that that's what's so great about it. You know, we read these things, and it, it's it's things that everyone deals with in life, but also with this fantasy element to it. So that's so much fun to get to be involved with and get to kind of see that. This is very cool. Tell me a bit about the atmosphere on the set, Stella. Yeah, the atmosphere, I mean, it changes, I feel like, daily and with each episode. Um, but we have an amazing crew in Vancouver, and they're so much fun to work with. They're like our family out there. You know, we get different directors every time, but the crew stays the same and the cast is the same relatively, so it's great. We've, we've bonded and we've got amazing female camera operators, like, carrying these heavy cameras, and it's like... It's really wonderful to see, and everybody really cares. You know, they—they're a part of this, but they're not just hands-on. They're—they're they're invested, 
and that feels good. Yeah, it's not common for uh, crews to be reading all of the scripts, <laughs> and uh, but this crew does, and they're invested in the story, and they've started reading the books as well, and that that energy is so contagious. It's absolutely contagious, yeah. and I, I, I think uh, it, it, it's just a pleasure to get to go to work every day, and everyone wanting to tell the same story and hear for the same. Now, person. one of the big things about this show are the special effects. Yeah. Um, what's it like? Tell me about shooting the special effects. Any injuries? Well, I think I guess I did. I found we found out today in interviews that I did a lot more green screen stuff than you. I guess apparently. Yeah. But that was kind of crazy, you know, because we're in. It, the green screen is behind me, right? Or, but I don't. I have to imagine it, you know. So it's not just like set up. So it's kind of like throwing ourselves into these crazy situations, and Julia in particular, and pretending that all of this stuff is happening, uh, while also staying grounded in the real world and emulating that through the screen. So it was super, super. Uh, it was a challenge, but it was fun. Yeah, I mean, like I had a different experience. Yeah. A little bit. I, I I think was maybe in front of two green screens the entire season. Um, so much of the magic that we did at the school uh, was uh, practical. It was it was it, uh, the environment was actually changing around us, uh, which is such a gift as an actor because we're already playing like forty layers of pretend, yeah. <laughs> and so like to not have to pretend that like the wind is blowing or, or the, the ceiling's being ripped off the, the building, you know, it's, it's, it's just such a gift. And we just get to react to the things around us. I had a real superhero moment where I did this, I do this tie, I do this, uh, this spell and it like rips off the top of this building and, and the, a black hole is summoned and there's like lightning crashing and, and they had all these like fans and the, fans uh, uh, the, yeah, the paper blowing around and like chunks of wall flying. And it was just, it was, Unreal. <laughs> it felt like felt it, it was actually happening. Did either of you learn any magic tricks? Like, can you show us any if you did? He's good with with uh, with cards, oh. but we don't have any. I did learn a lot of sleight of hand magic, um, but I forgot my cards in the hotel because of jet lag. <laughs> <laughs> tonight you can bring them. Tonight. So tonight yeah, I'll bring them. Sure. Yeah. But did you did you still have to learn any sleight of hand or not so much? Um, not sleight of hand because Julia's journey is very different. She doesn't get to go to the school. She you know she's kind of doing street magic um, and finding her own way. So I. There's this thing that we, um, it's called tutting, finger tutting. And it's sort of like a dance with your fingers. And it's a real thing, it exists. You can YouTube it, it's wild. Um, so we have this choreographer who helped us sort of discover these movements with our hands and, yeah. you know, I mean, just sort of anything. I mean, what was one? Ugh, I can't remember now, but there was one where I like made it rain and I, can't remember it exactly. <laughs> this is bad. This is bad form. But yeah. <laughs> What's the jet lag? We'll we write did, it up to yeah, yeah. totally. Like. So Sci-Fi has announced now that the show's been renewed for a second season. Congratulations. Thank That's you. That's good news. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you, can you tell us anything about the upcoming season and what challenges particularly will each of your characters have to face? Well, to be truthful, we start shooting in 10 days yeah. and we've not seen a script yet. So no I can't I don't know anything to share. I mean, we, we, these definitely left in a cliffhanger situation. Uh, there's a lot of, we don't know if a lot of people are dead or alive. Uh, um, we don't know if Julia left you or if she's with you or what happened. There's a lot to learn. Yeah. And uh, I think for everyone, us included. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about this? Do you feel a certain sense of relief? maybe more confidence going into the second season knowing it's been picked up I'm so happy that yeah. it's picked up I'm, I'm so excited to like get back and, and get into the work and I think with Julia it's 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 going to be intense. It's going to be crazy. I don't yeah. know. It's, it's it's kind of all of the all of the weight from season one, and then carrying that weight into season two. And um, we don't know if we're taking taking off from that starting point, starting later. Yeah, and it's not a brand new thing anymore. So we kind right. of know what we're doing. So we get to go back and and just uh, inhabit these people's skins again, and yeah. and and really just flex new muscles. Uh, yeah. I think I think the familiarity of it will really be helpful and wonderful. Yeah. Yeah.
that's it's nice to have that. Mm -hmm. They've been lived in. So yeah, and we good. know everyone. We know the crew. It's not that game of like, oh hi, hi, hi. We hi, know hi. Vancouver now. Yeah, it's like, we can go. We can be home, and we can just work. Yeah. Uh, and I think I think it'll grow deeper and richer. Anything else you want to add? Anecdotes, funny memories. You just generally, it was just the most amazing uh, crew and set to be on. Um, I, 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 my heart goes out to all of them in just thanks, uh, and I can't wait to go back. I, I second that emotion. And I also, like, thank Sci-Fi for giving us this chance. It's, it's so cool to get to, to play these characters, and, and when is it that magic is real, you know? So, like, that's such a fun prospect as an actor to get to play with.